Jumping, jumping Jack, Jack one here. What's going on out there? So I'm making this video to tell the rest of my story. Reason I made it separate is because you know this part of the story I can't really prove it, but you know my gut gut feeling says it's related to this experience. What experience is that? Well, if you watched my previous video then you would know what these pictures are all about. But if you didn't watch it, then I'm gonna explain to you quickly anyway. So, I'll tell you what happened. What happened? So I was in the woods, walking through the woods, went off the path, and uh, as I got a little deeper in the woods, all of a sudden I saw this white ball of light come at me. Out of the corner of my eye, it seemed like it was coming from the tree. It just came down, straight from my head, lined up on a collision course with my face. That's what it seemed like anyhow. And uh, natural reflex, I just happened to dodge, moved out of the way. And uh, as it was passing my head, I heard the humming noise it was making. And this thing was brilliant, it was white ball of light, it was amazing. Like, I was in awe, oh, I was like, if that, that little second, as it passed my head, it felt like, you know, a minute, that I, when I recall it, because I was in such awe and seeing this thing, and it just kept going up into the trees, so, luckily, I had my camera on me, and I snapped two, and I snapped two pictures, and that's what you're looking at right now, the pictures from that night, so, in my books, that's good enough evidence, you know, for my story. I, I, I'm telling the story how it went down. I have the pictures. These are the pictures. And I photoshopped the real deal. And that's what I saw. So, that's what it looks like in the picture. It's a white ball of light. So, you can take it how you want. This really happened to me. And, uh, I'm going to tell you the rest now. So what you're looking at right there is uh, my face, my left side of my face. Before the incident, you know, I have a lot of pictures. I'm sure everybody's got a lot of pictures of themselves all over the place. You can probably go through the years of them and look at your face if you wanted to. And on my face, I barely get acne. But after that experience, I started to get these uh, sores or pimples or I don't know what to call it, but... They started to come in my face over the years. You know, and about after three years, these things, uh, it's about three years, it just started getting worse. It started growing. You see? It changed color. It was white in that picture. That was the night it was white. And here's another time when they were, uh, like darker than my skin tone. It is weird. They had all these different colors. And uh, there's the, it's getting worse than that picture there. And that, that picture there. It's, you can see a clear shot of what it looks like. They almost were like flowers. You know, I, I call them, uh, I call them skin flowers. You know, you can see the petals. And yeah, actually that thing is open right there. And it's pretty gross. I mean, if it was a sunny day, they would open up and take a shower. And all sorts of weird things were with these things on my face. And the most weirdest part is that I never really was the type to get acne or warts or anything. This was my first time ever experiencing anything like this on my face. So it was really embarrassing in my eyes because, like, for me and my gut feeling, I felt like I knew where it came from. But no one understood that. No one understands that, actually. They all think it's like a virus or something, right? Even a doctor. If you go telling a doctor about these things, where you think they came from, they're going to take you on a straitjacket or something. But my gut feeling is that that's where it came from. It's that night. So this was after I removed them. I ended up removing those uh, skin flowers, even though I felt like it came from that night. Because, you know, people just, they just can't handle it. It's like, you see something different on somebody, and people like to stare. And first reaction people want to do is rip it off. 
So, I was tired of uh, people talking about my face. Saying, hey, what are those things on your face, man? You need to get them checked out. Well, I got, you know, I, I was comfortable with them. I thought it was cool I had these things on my face. And I felt like where it came from. But from everyone else's reactions, I just had to rip them off. Anyways, so you notice that in the pictures that uh, those orbs are actually like in a triangle formation. Uh, some sort of formation. If you look at it, and the reason why I connected those dots are because when you play with the effects, those are the ones that appear the most. And there's the one that I saw. And uh, I feel like they're all connected. They're all connected. Even though I didn't see the other two orbs, the other two balls, I saw that one. And uh, I feel like they're all connected. So let me give you all the reasons why I feel like those warts that were growing on my face, my skin flowers, were related to this experience. I'll give you all the, retail, the details, the reasons. Because, uh, you know, there's a picture. It's completely black, right? So you see the one at the bottom. That was the one I saw. But yet, when you highlight it, you see the other two. So now if you draw the, draw the line on there, from the one that I saw to the other two, that's how it looks on my face. And the other two, they're not connected because I didn't see them. And then again, you look at my face, there's no no warts on there or anything. It's almost like there was an invisible line connecting these dots. Now, we all know how invisible lines work. Anyone want to know about that, go use your cell phone or your remote control. And be reminded about invisible forces because uh, I feel like that one that I saw had some sort of energy connected to the other two that I couldn't see and it did something to my face and there's the shape of them they're actually like flowers man and when I ripped off this, the warts they came off in layers like petals and inside the petals, they even had these black seeds in them. and It was really disgusting. I just threw it all out. I didn't want no one else to see anymore. It was, I mean, it's pretty gross. But uh, it is what it is. So, you know, they're all different colors. They were red, white, darker than my skin tone. You seen it? I didn't get pictures of everything. But uh, all the time with these things on my face, because once it really get, started to get out of control, then uh, I kind of, that's when I had to rip them off. But you can see the lines, same shape as the objects in the picture. They came on my face. That's the same side the thing passed on my face. Did it do something to me? Did it get me? I don't think so. I think it missed me. But even when I took that picture, that's the direction my face would have been hanging to. My, my head would have been in that, you know, my, my left cheek exposed right there. That's how it would have been looking. So, take it how you want, but, I mean, my gut feeling tells me that those things came from there. I got the scars. They're now scars. That's how they look now. And uh, I'm not sure if I got it all out of there, but... I know what happened to my body. I know what I saw. I feel like it's all connected. So this is my story. The reason I'm telling you all this is because, uh, I mean, I'm still alive. But at the same time, maybe if that thing hit my face, my face would have been covered with those things. Maybe not. Who knows? No one wants to talk about it, do they?